Hello everyone. We are going to be talking about some of my recent favorites and I'm going to be talking about a few different things, a few different categories actually, like makeup, beauty, and then I'm going to do some fashion stuff because I have my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video coming soon. And I feel like this is going to be a little redundant, but if for whatever reason you missed that video, which is coming out, I think on Friday, I'm going to put it up either Thursday or Friday, um, or you have no interest in Sephora, I thought I would share some of them. And some of these favorites, by the way, are not available at Sephora. So anyway, I'm just going to take a sip of my decaf here. Yes, It's like at the perfect temperature. Are you guys like that with your hot drinks? <laughs> Like right when I pour it out, it's too hot. But if I wait too long, it gets too cold and then I end up nuking it and then it's like this back and forth game. Anyway, it's at the perfect temperature right now. Um, so I'm gonna start with uh, the skin tint that I have been using quite a bit of. And I've noticed I go particularly hard with this product, especially in the warmer months because it has SPF 30. It's just a skin tint I generally wear. I mean, I generally wear very light coverage uh, foundation all year round, um, but definitely like in the spring, summertime, it's almost like a fuller coverage foundation. It's just not even an option. So anyway, I'm rambling about the La Mer, the Radiant Skin Tint. You guys have heard me talk about this quite a bit. I wear the shade Light, and this you can definitely find um, at Sephora. So you'll see this appear in that video uh, later this week. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a bit and I'm generally a brush person when I put on foundation, but sometimes with a skin tint like this, especially one that's really kind of based in skincare, sometimes I just rub it on like it's a moisturizer. So that's what I'm gonna do with this guy. And it just has the perfect amount of coverage for me, just a little bit. It's not like blanking out my face, I'm not like completely putting, you know, like a mask on, but I feel like it does just enough evening out I really do like the SPF 30 in there, and it just makes my skin feel great. Really, really great. You guys know I'm a big fan of La Mer. So I've been using this quite a bit uh, this past month, and I am gonna throw on a little bit of concealer. This is really just nothing new. This will probably show up in my Sephora recommendations video, but this is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in shade 2N. I just, I really enjoy this. This and the Surratt Dewdrop Concealer pretty much go between these two. They're very, very similar in appearance. I just think the texture is a little bit different. The Dior is a bit creamier. The Surratt Dewdrop is just like a little bit thinner. But yeah, they, they both look incredible. They don't, uh, you know, sink into fine lines or make my um, under eyes look dry or anything. So yeah, I just, I really love both. And the shade 2N, if you use me as shade reference, is great in that it really just like matches my skin. It's not brightening. It's not one of those like lighter concealers. Although, did you guys see that TikTok? And if I can find it again, I'm gonna link it down below. <laughs> but it was a TikTok of this woman kind of demonstrating how using a lighter, kind of brightening sort of concealer underneath the eyes is actually very, very aging. And it just, I don't know, she's just kind of demonstrating like how weird it actually <laughs> looks. And I thought, well, trends come and go, you know, especially in the beauty world. I mean, everywhere, but in the beauty world, definitely trends come and go. And I do feel like maybe the lighter concealer under the eyes, maybe that time is going because it is a very kind of like made up look and yeah, and her point was, I mean, not to use like a darker concealer, but her point was, if you're kind of between shades and you don't know which one to go with, go with the darker one, not the lighter one. And when she demoed it, I was like, oh, wow. It does look a lot nicer. I'm going to find it. I'll link that TikTok down below and you'll be convinced like me. Um, all right, so concealer. Now, bronzers. I've been kind of digging out a lot of bronzers that I love because again, come spring, summer, I just love to start bronzing everything up. Um, and it's hard because my neck is so pale. So I really do have to carry it down. So I've been reaching for the Guerlain Terracotta Light. The full name is the Sun Kissed Healthy Glow Powder. I have it in the shade 00 Light Cool. It's this guy. You guys have seen me use this a thousand times. I recommended it. It's been in my favorites. It'll probably show up uh, in my store for recommendations. Um, so anyway, I'll set that aside because you guys have seen me use that quite a bit. Um, the Sicily uh, Pressed Powder in number four 
bronze. This is another one I really, really enjoy. The Sicily bronzer, the one, um, oh my gosh, that baked gel powder one. That one's very intense. I kind of save that for like later. In the summertime, it's also very warm. So I kind of start the season out with this Sicily one and I kind of move towards that other Sicily one. Um, so that is one. And this other Sicily one, this is actually one of their, um, I think they call them the Orchid Highlighting Blush. They just have the French name on the back here. Um, but I think this is the Orchid Highlighting Blush. And if you get shade number one, and you have a similar skin tone to me, this is gonna act as kind of a bronzer blush situation. I just kind of swirl my brush into the whole thing. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use this guy. So I'm just gonna pull out my jumbo bronzer from Sonia G. And you know, it's so funny. I've been, like I said, I've been using this quite a bit. It doesn't look touched. It's so weird. So this isn't an overspray or anything. This, you know, the product goes all the way down. There, isn't that pretty? And it just works like all over the cheek. So I'm just gonna brush some on my forehead. Just kind of warm everything up here. There, so I've been loving that and loving like all of my bronzers. I've been going in my bronzer drawer and kind of digging stuff up. So the Guerlain, the Sicily, and this Sicily highlighting blush in one. I've been using kind of all three quite a bit uh, over these past few weeks. So I feel like my cheeks are pretty much done. In terms of highlight, um, I've been really, really enjoying like glossier kind of highlights. So the Westman Atelier Lit Up Highlight Stick in Nectar. This has come back out. This has appeared, again, in so many of my favorites, but I've just been really going hard with this lately because I just like that slight glossiness that it gives my cheeks. I just feel like it's such a nice compliment to all of this bronze that I've been using. I love that hint. It's like you haven't broken out into a sweat, but you're warm. <laughs> it's like that kind of glow. And then the other highlighting product I want you to show you, it's, it's new to me, it's not new to the market. It's the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo. Now I have uh, intensity 0 0.5 and then I have intensity one. And in both of those, the highlight product is pretty much the same. It's sort of this clear gloss. Um, it's even more clear than the Nectar. The Nectar has like a little bit of a kind of uh, light peachy tone to it. So in intensity two, we've got this guy up here. This um, contour on the bottom actually does work for my skin tone. I just have to be really light handed with it. Um, but this highlight, is so, so beautiful. So it's just a little bit of like an amped up version of this nectar. Hold on, let me swatch the two, one next to the other. It has just a hint more pigment. So this one is the Tom Ford, and then this one is the Western Atelier. So I think if you want a little bit more, or if your skin tone is deeper than mine, or if you get a bit bronzier in the spring summertime, this Tom Ford one is such a nice option to this Westman Atelier one. So I just applied Westman Atelier to this cheek. I'm gonna apply the Tom Ford to this cheek so you guys can compare. So there's the Westman Atelier, and then here's the Tom Ford. It's just a little glossier. There's just a little bit more going on than the Westman Atelier. So I have really, really been enjoying this. I think it's so pretty, so, so pretty on the skin. So again, that is the Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo in Intensity 2. And then for brows, I've really been loving the Benefit Fluff Up brow wax. There's no uh, pigment to it or anything. It really is just meant to, you know, control your brow hairs. So I think most people probably put down a little bit of like an eyebrow pencil and then they go in with this. I've just been using this. I've just been liking a little bit of a lighter brow. No big brow statements here. Yeah, and I feel like once I get my brow hairs kind of aligned, I feel like that that's bold enough. We're good, we're good there. And for eyeshadow, you guys knew I was gonna mention this, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes The Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I still do love like a satiny shade, I do. 
but I've really been enjoying just using some matte shadows, just really lightly, maybe one or two shades, and that's it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I really like glowy stuff, but I don't know. I've just been kind of pulling back in terms of my eyes and really focusing on my cheeks. I mean, I feel like that's what I've done in the past, but I'm just doing it a little bit more. So anyway, I've really been enjoying this. But I picked this little palette up during the Beautylish gift card event. This is from Kevin Aquan. This is the Contour Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Light. And it's got six shades in there. The top three are matte, the bottom three are this satin shimmer. I have been loving this. I've been using like these two mattes, like I said, just to add like a little bit of dimension to my eyes and leaving it there. And then on occasion, sometimes I'll throw in like a little bit of a shimmer, like all over the lid. I just love, love, love this little palette. So you'll probably see me mention <laughs> this in my Sephora a recommendations video, but uh, Kevin Aquan is not sold at Sephora anymore. So I thought I would put this guy on for you guys. I'm gonna use my Sonia G T4 brush and I am gonna go into this middle matte shade. Are there names for these? Oh yes, that one is called Fawn. Oh, actually, let me do some swatches. I think that'll be helpful. Okay, there are the three mattes. Really nice, very creamy, perform beautifully, blend out beautifully, like the perfect amount of pigmentation, not too much, not too little. And there are the three shimmer shades, light, medium, dark. Really pretty, very, very neutral toned. I feel like it's such a go-to palette if you've got nothing else, if you don't know what you wanna do with your eyes or you wanna make your lips kind of like the focal point of your look, travel, it's really small. Yeah, it's just such a great palette and I'm like reaching for it more and more. It's, it's wonderful. All right, just gonna continue applying that fawn matte shade. And then I'm gonna take my Chikahoto Z5 brush. I'm actually just gonna go into this light shimmer shade and put that all over my lid. I just wanna at least put on one of these uh, shimmer shades for you, satin shimmer shades. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, and that's what I've been loving doing with my eyes, something really, really simple. And again, nothing new for this channel, right? I've never done really intricate, beautifully bold like eyeshadows, eyeshadow looks. That's just not, it's just not what I'm comfortable wearing. Um, but I think I've even taken it down a notch further by just using like matte shadows uh, predominantly. But anyway, this palette is so fantastic. Can't recommend it enough. All right, I'm just going to curl my lashes. I've gone back to my Surat Noir Lash Tint uh, for mascara and so, so happy because it really keeps my lashes curled. And that is my number one priority <laughs> when it comes to mascara. Well, that and it not running everywhere. So in terms of like eyeliner and stuff, like I said, I've just been keeping it really, really light on the eyes. So I really haven't been using much uh, in that area. So I don't have much to mention in this video, but for lips, I really have been enjoying, there's two that stand out to me. But let me talk about lip liner first. This is the Hourglass Shape and Sculpt in Flaunt number two. I've been using this quite a bit. There's just a hint of peachiness there, which goes great with like, you know, all the bronzer I've been putting on. So the first lip product I want to mention is the Surat uh, Lip Slick. And any shade is wonderful. I've been going hard with the Nude Soleil and uh, it is like, such a beautiful nude shade. However, it's this formula that's so good. It's basically like a gloss and stick. It gives you a very similar gloss to all of those highlights I just put on. Like, not quite super shiny, just a little hint of a shine. So I'm gonna put this on for today. Very nude. This is probably like as nude as I can get. Uh, before we get into like concealer lip territory. But I love this. I love a nude lip with like bronzy skin. And this combination is great because I feel like the flaunt 
just warms up the perimeter of my lips just a little bit. So anyway, I've been using this quite a bit. And like I said, you know, any color that strikes your fancy with these Surratt Lip Slicks, I would go for it because they're just gorgeous. Um, I've got a couple here. Heaven is a really beautiful rose shade. Isn't that gorgeous? Perfect for like every day. And then I love this for summertime. This one is Ladybug and it's like an orangey red. Look at that Ladybug shade. That's such a good, 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 like reddish orange for the summertime because it's glossy. It's not super duper pigmented. It feels so great on the lips. Um, so I've been loving the Surratt Lip Slicks lately. And the last lip product I wanted to mention, this you'll definitely see in my Sephora recommendations, but this is the new matte lipstick from Westman Atelier. These are the Lip Suede matte lipsticks. It's the same name as her Lip Compacts uh, Lip Suede, but these are the bullet forms. So gorgeous packaging, of course. And the color shade that I've been using is Je Rêve. Let me do a swatch of this. Now, these are probably like the opposite <laughs> of the Surratt Lip Slicks because they are matte in finish. They're very highly pigmented and just, I mean, they go on, well, this would be similar to the Surratt, but they go on like silk, like really, really smooth. They're not drying at all. They don't um, eventually dry my lips or whatever. I find a lot of matte lipsticks that go on really slick or whatever. As the day progresses, I feel like, you know, they eventually kind of start to dry on my lips. Not these Westman Atelier. I don't know what kind of magic she poured into these, but they're matte, but they feel like a cream lipstick all the way through. So I did actually order a bunch more. I wanted to try some other shades and that video will definitely be coming soon, like a trying new makeup, because I wanted to continue trying new stuff at Sephora before I made recommendations for you. So uh, that's coming this week before my recommendations video, but I just had to mention this in my favorites because it is phenomenal. So those are all of my beauty favorites. And this was so great because I needed to get ready for the day. <laughs> but I'm going to bring you upstairs because I've got some fashion stuff, handbags to show you that I've just been loving. So let's head on upstairs. All right. So while we're heading on upstairs, I do want to point out the shirt that I'm wearing. So this is that Air shirt, A-Y-R, that uh, they so kindly sent to me. And I have been wearing it at least like every other day. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna put you down and show you what exactly I love about it. I mean, it's, it's really just kind of a basic button down shirt, but it's so comfortable, it's so, so good. Okay, so here's the shirt. Sorry, my mic is clipped to the breast pocket. It's just basic. I have the size large. I believe this is, I'm trying to think of the color name. Of course, I'll link everything down below. I'll have the full description down there. I think it's like indigo or something like that. And it is an Oxford shirt. And so I was expecting um, the Oxford to be on the stiffer side. Oxford generally is. It's like a really kind of tight, dense weave. But this is so soft. It feels like, like it's been stonewashed. It's so, so comfortable. And I just, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. It is the perfect throw on, you're in the house, you may have to run out and, you know, run some errands or whatever. It really is just perfect. I love it. It's a little bit on the chilly side today, so I just threw a t-shirt on underneath. But generally, I just wear it alone and it's so, it's so, so soft. There are a few evenings I've gotten into bed and I've just been wearing this and I'm like, oh, I've got to change. So I had to mention this, you guys, because I've just been wearing it so much. You guys have probably noticed how much I have been wearing it. So this is a huge recommendation of mine. If you've been looking for just like a nice button down shirt, maybe one that has like a denim feel to it, look no further. Absolutely. Look no further. I'm just going to put on some of my jewelry here. Of course, my Lucifer Veronesis jewelry. It's, that's always a favorite. Let's just say that. Let's just put that out there. It will always be a favorite of mine. <laughs> um, but you know what? I should mention them. I almost forgot. I should mention them because 10% off with my coupon code, Michelle10. 
uh, for Mother's Day. So the coupon will expire on May 12th, which is Mother's Day, but you definitely want to get your orders in because, you know, these are all handmade. They're all one of a kind and Luna needs, you know, some time to realize your vision <laughs> for your uh, Mother's Day gift. So anyway, I'm just throwing on these uh, pearl earrings from her, but she's got, you know, amazing, amazing stuff. And I always link to her Instagram and her website down below in my description box, but Michelle 10 for 10% off fine one of a kind jewelry, which is always so unheard of. I'm always so like pleasantly surprised every time Luna's like, yeah, let's do a coupon code. I'm like, are you sure? Cause there's very little margin. I mean, if you guys are in the jewelry industry, you know, um, but anyway, uh, so Luna's jewelry, of course. Oh, I know what I had to show you. Okay. I should have talked about this while I was still downstairs because I had to go downstairs and get this, but my Oleata mini anger bag, you guys, I love this bag. I've been using it for just like every day. Uh, I probably, I mean, truth be told, I don't really bring this out like when I'm going out to dinner or whatever, but it is the best like everyday errand running bag. So let me just show you first because I think this is what's most surprising. This is a small bag. It's tiny, but it fits more than what I can fit in my like Celine medium Triumph bag, which looks a lot bigger than this. It's like thicker, but this, hold on, let me just show you what's in here. Sunglasses with the full case. And then I've got floss, a couple lip products in there, my car keys, my card holder slash wallet. Oh, and my AirPods. I could maybe fit this into my Celine Triumph bag. So I can put all this in here. I can throw my sunglasses in here. I can even squeeze my phone in here if I want, not a problem. I don't know what it is about the shape of this bag, but it is incredible. It also comes with two straps that you could turn into like a little backpack if you want, or you can use just one of the straps and use it as a crossbody. So I generally just hold on to this. I haven't really been using it as a crossbody, but I leave this strap on here just in case. Look how cute that is. Oh my God, I love it. So if I need my hands, I just throw it on crossbody. There is also a little back slip pocket. So I don't know if I valet park, I put my valet ticket in here. Sometimes I will throw my phone in here just as a temporary solution. Like if I'm sifting through a shelf or something, I'm at the grocery store and I'm holding my phone, I'll just slide it right in here. So super duper handy. I love this. And I was actually just poking around on the Oleata site and they have come out with a new color for spring, which I'm really tempted to get. It's like this pistachio green. It's so, so pretty. So anyway, you may see that in a haul coming up, um, but I just, I love it. And it's got two zippers. So it's really cute if you, of course, position the zipper pulls like right in the center here. I'm usually like in too much of a rush. So <laughs> I just usually have them both on one side and open one at a time. But I love this bag. It's so good. It's so cute looking. It's a respectable looking bag. <laughs> and I feel like I can dump so much stuff in here and it's so compact. And that Loro Piana version of this, the, what is it called, like the L19 or something? I think it's just been sold out everywhere. So this is a really good, much less expensive option to that Loro Piana bag. And this leather is so soft. So great bag if you're in the market for one. I also wanted to mention my jammies. <laughs> if you guys do watch me and you've been watching my vlogs, you probably have seen me in these jammies quite a bit, but these are the J Crew jammies. Of course, I'll link to them down below, but they're cotton poplin. And I had been looking for just a crisp cotton pajama set. I have a bunch of the Ever J ones, which I love, but they're like of a slinky kind of stretch material. I'm like, I just want like a non clingy, just straight up cotton poplin uh, material pajama set, kind of old school, like a little bit more traditional. And I found them on J Crew. So I ended up getting medium. I started with large. They, the top was fine, but the bottoms were just too big. They were too long. So the mediums actually fit me really well. I'm five, five, uh, for reference. And they have a little drawstring here. They have pockets. So it's like a full on outfit <laughs> pockets. And then, and this color, by the way, is hydrangea, but they have two other colors. They have Navy and then they have, 
I guess it's white. I don't know if it's like an off-white, but it's a much lighter color. Um, and then here is the top. Sorry, it's all crinkled because I wore it last night. But it has like navy piping and it has one breast pocket. I mean, just like the really traditional pajamas. Your dad probably wore a set like this, but I love it. I love it. I've been wearing them every night. They're very breathable. I'm kind of a hot sleeper. I was worried maybe it would just be, I don't know, too much, um, a whole pajama set, but they're great. They're so, so great. So I have been loving these and I'm pretty sure I bought them on sale and I'm fairly certain they're still on sale. So definitely take advantage if you're in the market for a nice crisp traditional pajama set. And last but not least, I have to mention this cardigan that I got at Prada. Such a surprise. So I was in Palm Springs with my friend Julie and she came out with this uh, cardigan on and I just fell in love with it. I don't know, I really, don't know what it is that caught my eye. Um, I don't generally wear navy. Um, this is 100% cotton. I generally don't wear um, cotton knits. They are heavy. Um, they have like a drier feeling versus the like lofty kind of downy feeling of wool or cashmere or yak. But there was just something about, I don't know, the way the sweater hung. I mean, of course, Julie's fantastic. So everything looks great on her. Um, but I just fell in love with it. So the next time I was at Prada in store, I saw like a navy sweater folded up, you know, in the corner on the up, you know, upper shelf or whatever. And I was like, is that the cotton cardigan? And of course the, uh, the client advisor that I work with there, she was like, I don't know. <laughs> she had to pull it down. I was like, that's it. And so I don't know. I was really like, not sure. Am I going to wear it? Am I not going to wear it? I, it's just everything in a sweater that I don't generally wear, but I got it. And man, this is one of the best purchases I have ever made. I have worn this pretty much every single day, much like this shirt. I've worn this outfit, <laughs> this exact outfit. I mean, ever since I got this sweater. So it is a fisherman rib. So it is a very dense, dense rib, a lot of material. Am I gonna be able to wear this in the dead of summer here in Vegas? Probably not. I mean, maybe in air conditioning, but because it's cotton, I mean, I can definitely wear this a lot longer than I can wear my other, uh, my other cardigans, my other knits that are made out of like wool and cashmere. Now, I think what may have caught my eye is the closure. It has buttons and a zipper. I just love, love, love that detail. Do you see the big chunky silver zipper there? Actually, let me zip it up so you can see. So here it is zipped up and you can kind of like flip the button band over or you can button it up if you want, like double closure, or you can just leave it open, which is what I like to do, um, or you can just button it if you want. If you button it, you hide the zipper, but it's just so great. It also has a saddle shoulder here. Can you guys see that, that detail? Saddle shoulder. So it's great. It's roomy in the shoulder area. If you want to wear, you know, something thick underneath, wear this kind of as outerwear. I've just been loving wearing it over this shirt, over button down shirts, over uh, button front like uh, dresses and things. It's, yeah, it's just been like the perfect layering piece. I am so glad I picked it up. And there's no uh, loud logoing or anything. There is just a triangle, the back center by the neck. And of course it has the all important pockets here. So yeah, and now that I have this on, I think I'm gonna leave it on. Just loving it, loving it so much. So that's it. That's it for my favorites. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Uh, definitely subscribe if you are interested in like Sephora recommendations, what I got at Sephora, all that stuff is coming up because that sale starts the 5th. I cannot believe it's April tomorrow. Craziness. So I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming up the next couple of weeks. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Before you leave, my description box has everything linked and I'll see you in a video really soon. Bye.